Lang. And it's been eight months since I bought this back in March earlier this year. And when I bought it, heck, I wasn't even living in this apartment. I was living in the old apartment. That's besides the point. When I bought it, I made the video and I gave you all a little preview of the inside of the comic, right? And I told you that sometime eventually I was gonna get to making this review video about this comic book giant size spider. So here's the review. Let me put it down. So I read it all over again yesterday and today. Okay, so here is my review. Oh, and by the way, I checked it out, and originally this comic was published in May of 2014. So this is about six, seven, it's over seven years old, almost approaching eight years. Okay, I did not know anything about it when I bought it. I just saw it randomly and bought. Obviously, because I'm a Spider-Man fan, as you can tell, especially if you've seen videos on my channel before, I have multiple Spider-Man stuff, including this poster behind me and the comic in which I'm about to review. That being said, let's dig into the actual review. It is indeed a fun, interesting, entertaining read for in this comic it's entertaining guys i know a lot of people don't read these days so maybe you know you might not be into it who knows maybe if you're a spider-man fan yes okay um but maybe the kids will enjoy the art of that is the drawing the sketches whatever it's 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 all masterful um it's basically an origin story basically the reboot of the spider-man comics we start off with the, the story we all know um ben parker being killed and may can't afford rent all that origin story of Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. The story we all know. We start with that story, the burglar escaping because of Peter Parker, being a little selfish, having to learn the lesson there. And when he finds out that that same burglar is responsible for the death of his uncle. Okay, we all know that story, so there ain't much to, you know, talk about. It is what it is. They just do it a little bit different, you know. And then from there, we go to um, him stopping the, the burglar and eventually catching him and realizing that he needs to use his newfound gifts, his new powers for responsibility. Okay? And then in chapter two, or whatever you want to call it, the second part of the comic, we find the origin story of the vulture. Adrian Toom becomes the vulture after he loses his job. Um, he has a vulture costume that he created himself and he uses it to try and, um, I don't remember, I think it was robbing a bank or something, uh, something like that. And Spider-Man stops him. Okay, so we get the origins of the vulture. On the third chapter or the third story in the comic, it's Dr. Octopus. There's a robot that kind of looks like a spider. So people, um, J. Jonah Jameson um, thinks that it's Spider-Man behind it because the robot looks like a spider. Peter Parker slash Spider-Man finds it out that it's a robot created by Dr. Otto Octavius. We get the origin story of Dr. 
um, Otto Octavius. He becomes Dr. Octopus. Spider-Man fights him. All that fun stuff. On the third chapter, Peter Parker wakes up in class from a dream or nightmare that he's fighting Dr. Octopus, whatever. He goes to talk to the principal. And we get different versions of story on different perspective of when the Sandman broke into the classroom to fight the teacher who happens to be dating the Sandman. We get a little, you know, verbal story of the Sandman's origin, Flynn Marco, um, and Spider-Man gets a little scene there against the Sandman. Um, so all in all, it's a good a good comic there we get some scenes with flash thompson as well a lot of fan favorite characters that we all know so my review for this is i give it a thumbs up me i enjoyed it so if you ever see this you know at a comic book store i don't know where else you can finally find um find this i don't know but if you see it at a walmart and you're thinking should i get it should i not get it um I would. I mean, I already got it, but if I had it, you know. Um, four ninety nine apparently is what I paid for it. I don't remember, but that's what it says there. So overall, fun comic to read. Favorite characters of it is, like I said, Vulture, Sandman, Doctor Octopus, the burglar that killed Uncle Ben, and May is there. Flash Thompson, I would have loved to have a little tease, you know, the goblins, maybe a, li a little appearances from um, Harry Osborn, but no, we don't get a Harry Osborn yet in this comic. Um, they do mention Liz Allen by uh, Aunt May mentioning her on a phone call, um, so I guess during this time, Peter Parker has not is not dating MJ yet or um, Gwen Stacy. It's probably around the time in his origins, if you know, um, he originally liked or had a love interest, Liz Allen, which the character appears under a different name, Liz Tombs on the Homecoming movie. Um, so yeah, overall, this was a fun read. So once again, like I said, good comic to read and okay that's it I guess um subscribe because I do have other comics right that I might review soon of Spider-Man and the Flash so stay on the channel for that and I'll vlog you later good night y'all